let us know about what is github github is a web based git repository this hosting service as a cloud based storage github offers all distributed version controls and source code management functionality of git while adding its own features github makes it easier to collaborate using git additionally github repositories are open to the public now let's create a github account first open your favorite web browser and in the search bar enter github click the first link that appears or that says github.com now click on sign up if you are creating a new account click on sign in if you already have an account since we are creating a new account we will click on sign up it says welcome to github let's begin the adventure here enter your email continue create a password there are certain requirements uh, you need to have a valid password let's go for continue enter a username if the username is available it says uh, the username is available if not it says the username is not available so try changing the username until it says it is available this is uh, completely your wish here i will be saying no or you can just say yes we need to solve a small puzzle uh, so uh, to verify we are human So since these two are anchors, which are identical, so this is the object. And <clears throat> even here, uh, this is the object. Let's uh, create account. So once you enter the code, that will be sent to your Gmail. You will be good to go. After login, you will be seeing your home page. Now in here, you can create a new repository on placing the plus symbol on the right corner and select new repository. Here, you your repository name. I am giving it as practice. In the disc you can give a description which is optional. I will be writing this is a sample repository. You can choose whether you want it to be public or private. And you can also add your readme file which uh, explains uh, in more detail what your uh, repository is actually. I am not adding anything. And also get ignore file to ignore the files and also licenses. For now it's none. Let's create our repository. Now we have successfully created our repository. This is our remote repository. You can say it's in the cloud. People can access this repository from their local machines. So let's open our terminal for now and access this repository. To do that, you can you need to first clone your repository. The command is itself is clone. So git clone and we'll be using this link. We'll copy it and we'll paste it here. Now and press enter. You can see our repository practice has been cloned and it also gives a warning that your repository has, is empty for now. So let's change to practice and let's create a file here. We'll use autumn. For now, let's just write our uh, header file and also main function in which we'll just print a simple statement saying hello world. Okay. Since we know our program is uh, 
perfectly good and correct we are not checking it so we'll be directly adding the file and we'll be committing it to directly commit i am using dash m flag which doesn't open any text editor uh, first commit and also we'll just push it git push is the command which you are using to push into your remote repository if you re refresh here right now you can see program c program.c file has been already created here with the commit first commit so let's just open it and you can see the code which we have written in our local repository for now let's make a small change here instead of hello world we'll write one more line also printf hello people and let's add a new line character here let's add a commit the changes uh, we have made we'll explain here and a new line to say hello to people and we are committing the change now if you see in our remote repository there are actually six lines of code but when you check in your local repository you will see the printf hello people line doesn't exist here only the changes we have created done or create uh, only the changes that we have we cannot see the changes that that we have done on the web so to get the changes from the web to your local repository you need to update your local repository or you need to bring the changes from the remote repository to the local repository to do that the command is git pull if you enter git pull and press enter automatically all the changes that have been done in the remote repository it will be pulled into your local repository now if you will see the content of the file programs.c you will see that print of hello people line has been pulled from the remote repository so that's how the changes will be pushed into the remote repository and pulled from the remote repository to your local repository it can be done by multiple users at the same time you can also create branches and work individually on one feature only in your local repository thank you